Hello there. It's time for me to watch Rings of Power episode four. I have delayed. I was busy, but now it's time. And I want you to join me. I've been enjoying it so far. It's been absolutely stunning. It's been really, really fun. I've loved the acting and I'm into the plot. So we'll see if episode four continues along that trend. I'm going to get into it, but just a reminder, like the video if you enjoy it. Feel free to comment. Feel free to share whatever. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit the little bell if you want notifications. Let's get into it. Time's arriving. Just needs a stretch. This is one heck of a fancy, what, baptism? What's happening? The tree! Oh my god! Holy, why is this happening? Oh, I bet it's a dream. It's gotta be a dream. It's gotta be a dream. Yep. Now, what seems to be the trouble? We may have a bit of a squall on our hands. I don't trust this guy. His hair is far too big. Far too full of secrets. Your Eros, Carminiatu, whose house conquered Morgoth himself. Eros, Eron's brother. A castle. She will remain, as always, a kingdom of men. God, they make humans out to be such dweebs. I mean, I guess I can't really dispute them, though, so. Hashtag accurate. I love her dress, by the way. Very low, actually. His people are scattered. Leaders. But with your backing, they might fight with me. To save the men of the Southlands. Not likely. I dare say yours is the most surprising and ambitious I've heard in weeks. Weeks? <laughs> so much for that army, huh, Galadriel? Come on. And I have little choice but to ask for another. Or are you a castaway, grasping for a handhold in a tempest? There is a tempest in me. It swept me to this island for a reason. And it will not be quelled by you, Regent. I was wondering how they were going to do the there's a tempest in me line, but I think it worked. I was worried it would be cheesy, but I liked it. Isildur. <laughs> it happened next. It's calling him. Is he going to throw the test? That guy is, like, epic. His hair and the sun. Come on. That was deliberate. He's throwing the Don't test! All three of you! What? Aww. Leave it to you to get kicked out for something you never earned in the first place. Oh. Since I was big enough to hold in all I wanted on that boat. Aww. I did everything I was supposed to do to earn it. And what did you do? Doesn't work. God, they look so good. <laughs> They're grunting respectfully. So that's what that sounds like. <laughs> Who are you, sir? Mr. Elf Boy? Is he about to do some magic? Oh god. Nope, no magic. Stabs deeper. <laughs> what all that requires a creation from any world. Is that what you want? That is something only the gods can do. I am no god. At least not yet. Not yet. Yes! I love predicting lines. This feels very pre Helm's Deep. Feel bad. That makes it every village from here to a rod ruin. You can either help me or you can make it harder. He's got the little sword. What if he's corrupted? What if the orcs are looking for the sword that you found? Careful. Well, that was fast. <laughs> 
Don't leave him. Now they'll know. Ooh, are they getting started on the tower already? Elves and dwarves working together. Are you suggesting Durin's got himself a wee girlfriend? I love her. I know. Could have him. It's a recipe for strong gravy. <laughs> Was there anything else you wanted to ask about, dearie? Got him. The old mine. What's in the old mine? Elrond the spy. That's exactly where I'm going. Nosy nosy, Elrond. What are you doing? I still think it's Mithril. But we shall see. Rich crown. Kiss the stone. Polish old gems and gold. Really? Really? That's convenient. Hands are mountain. You'll never breathe so much as a whisper of what I'm about to tell you to another living soul. Secrets. I swear, Delrond, I want to find out. Okay, what is it? A new ore. It's got to be Mithril, right? Lighter than silk. Yes. Harder than iron. Yep. As weaponry, it would best and proudest blades. In our turn, grey glitter. In yours, something like Mithril. I came because twenty years is far too long to stay away, even for an elf. And because of Eregia. I hope they don't end up splitting and they use that as a reason for the elves and dwarves to be antagonistic. Galadriel must sell. Very strange. See what happens when you stop galloping. And you give yourself a moment to think. He's comparing me to a horse. <laughs> but you love horses. I'm not really buying Halbrand helping Galadriel realize all this stuff. She's so, like, old already and wise. <laughs> I, you would think that she'd be wise, right? That first Ooh, night. Ooh, here we go. It's all Numenor slept. It brought me here. Yes. Palantir. Palantir. I must warn you. I have touched Palantiri before, but you have not touched this one. That's the plural of Palantir. Palantiri. Crazy. Fall of Numenor. Let Numenor fight alongside the elves once more. Two queens teaming up? Question mark. But it is too fine a threat from which to hang it. Yeah, I mean, if none of her people want it, then she's kind of in a tough spot. I'm sorry. Let's go. They were about to leave. That's when you get out of the well. Why not wait? Just a little longer. He's still getting the food? Wow. Good job, kid. This feels like a video game. <laughs> All these orcs are NPCs. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. I freaking knew it. Maybe. Losing your arm will loosen your lips. <gasps> Oh god. It's the elf. There he is. Whew. <laughs> they are coming. God, I thought they cut the kid's arm off. I really did. Oh, this music. Oh my god, yes, yes, <laughs> catch it, shoot it back, <laughs> fucking awesome. Didn't go for the headshot. <gasps> She's, no, 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 don't get in. Oh my god, I thought she was gonna get hit. She might still. I mean, they really don't want to be in the sun. OK. 
God, the scenery. Holy. You could just watch, like, the B-roll or whatever. Ooh. Goosebumps. <laughs> Oh no, is this a funeral? Oh my gosh, I thought he got trapped down there too. Alive. Whew, whew. Them alive. Is his beard tucked into his belt? Is that what's happening? <laughs> there's a there's a loop in his belt that it's tucked into. Oh my god, I love that. Disappointed. Countless ways I'd failed to live up to it. Yeah, I like Elrond. He's wise, friendly, likable, a good politician. I was hopeful you might be able to settle something. A good friend. Yeah, we like Elrond. With three trolls, and it was I who saved him. <laughs> All right, I've come around to Elrond. These two, these three, some of the best part of the show. Did he die? Just sitting there? No, he's alive. Okay, jeez. Sometimes in anger, most of all. Aw. This plot is so feel good, even though. No, just it's just purely feel good so far. <laughs> Makes me really suspicious. Kiss him! Thank you. For all the world to see. You're sour. Creepy, a little creepy dude. It in the skies. Oh, now, okay, the star falls aside. Does that mean that the stranger the is Sauron? Now, where's Nori? Are we not getting any Nori this episode? Ugh. No father. Benjamin Stark, huh? Man, I figured a sealed door. And him. I figured they would both be on the ship that took her. Or is it here? Amongst us even now. The Southlands call for aid. Good choice, lady. I will serve. Okay, this is what I expected. This is more like it. No Nori that episode. No stranger. The only hint we got about his identity was the, like, bartender or whoever that was telling the kid that the Starfall was a sign of his return, which is once again a hint, but not a confirmation that maybe the stranger is Sauron, but who knows? Who indeed knows? Favorite plot this episode for sure? Elrond, Durin, and Disa. It had friendship, it had romance, it had a father-son bonding moment. I don't know, what else could you ask for? I really, as I said while I was watching, I'm really liking Elrond now. I'm a little annoyed that he was kind of like collabing with Gilgalad against Galadriel, but you know, I kind of get it because he thought he was doing the right thing. Very excited Numenor came around. I thought that would be the case, although I wasn't sure it would be like the whole region. I assumed that she would get like a ship, you know, and that would be it. But no, it's uh, it's like everybody, which is pretty cool. And the romance is still there between the elf and, and the woman, Bronwyn. But, you know, we're still waiting for more. We're still, you know, there's a lot of touches and fond looks. It's just, are they like confirmed? Are they, are they exclusive? You know, I'm not sure. I guess uh, that remains to be seen. That kid though, better appreciate elves more than he did before because he got his ass saved. I don't have much else. I can't wait to see what's up with Nori. Hopefully we get more Nori next episode. And, you know, some some more progress. Maybe we find out who Sauron is. I doubt. I doubt we find that out yet. Uh, maybe we'll get some Numenor versus Orcs in the Southlands action. Maybe we'll get something with the tower that's being built and the dwarves. We'll see. We'll see. There's some sus stuff going on with that tower. Now that we figured out the Mithril 
mystery. Now we need to figure out what direction we're going. I mean, ultimately, I know the direction that it's going to end up at. But I don't know where we're going in the meantime, so I'm curious to see how all this pans out. Before I sign off, I want to say thank you to my generous patrons and members. Y'all are the greatest. A list of them is in the description of this video. If you want to join them and support me monetarily, you could become a patron on Patreon or a member on YouTube. Or really, if you want to support me in a completely free way that really, really helps, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and if you want, hit the little bell for notifications for when I post new content or go live. And don't miss the Wheel and Chill show on Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. We do recaps of the Rings of Power while the Rings of Power is airing. Otherwise, we oftentimes talk about the Wheel of Time, books, or show, and we have a really good time. So until next time, thanks for tuning in. Bye.